Hello ladies and gents and welcome to my tutorial on how to use CIDR on a PC for PES 2020. If you're doing a Master League or become a legend, everything is automatically done for you. So if you're playing a Champions League game, you'll get the Champions League footballs, you'll get the proper ref kits, everything. You don't need to worry about it. The stadium's already selected for you. Same for become a legend, so that's all sorted for you. However, if you want to do a local match or exhibition match, this is where you'll need to do a few extra things. So I'm just going to go into local match. Now I'm going to select Liverpool against Manchester City. So what you need to do is press spacebar on your keyboard. This brings up this menu here. Can look a bit scary at first, but if you just read it carefully, what it's telling you to do, it is very simple to use. Now spacebar brings the menu up and brings it back again. Now you have to do this before the game. Don't use this during the game, otherwise it could cause a crash. So at the very top, you can see the first one we're looking at is the stadium server.lua. So we're looking at the stadiums and what you can do is one on your keyboard navigates to the next menu. So we're on the stadium server now. We're gonna press one and now we're at the scoreboard server. We're gonna press one again, ref kit server, ball server, Goal song server, e-trace, and camera. So the ones we're interested in are these here that I'm going to show you. So we're going to start off with stadium server. So if you want to manually select your stadium, which I recommend you do, press 9 on your keyboard. And this will, you can see at the bottom there, it says manually selected stadiums, Allianz Arena. Selection mode, manual selection, page up, page down. So if you press page up and page down, this will flick through the various stadiums that have been created. So we're going to select Anfield. They are in alphabetical order, so you can see Anfield, Arena, Bay, Arena, Berg, Stadion, and so on and so forth. So going to select Anfield using page up, page down. Now we're going to press 1. Oh, before I go on, you can also press 8. You can see that to use your favorite stadium. So to set your favorite stadium, you need to press seven. Okay, so if I press seven, and stadium Anfield saved as favorite. Now if I switch to another stadium, and now press eight, it jumps straight back to Anfield. Going to the next one, we're gonna press one, and jump to the scoreboard server. So this is um, the sort of presentation side of things. Again, we're gonna press nine, to manually select our scoreboard. And then we're going to scroll through and we can change it to what we want. We can have a UEFA Champions League sort of um, presentation. We can have, you know, Bundesliga, all this, you know, you could have uh, Sky Sports, you have BBC. Um, yeah, it's good for BBC presentation. And then we're going to press one again to bring up the refs kits server. So again, press nine you want to change it okay so you can just jump through you can have the community shield Copa del Rey English Premier League so we'll set it as the English Premier League we're going to press one again now we're going to be able to select our ball so again you've still got the options to set your favorite ball as number as number seven so I'm going to press nine to ma get the manual selection and then page up and page down again to scroll through all these balls. Thank you very much, Hawk, for this amazing work, by the way. I mean, thank you to all the modders who who have had an input, um, you know, on pairs. It's, it's greatly appreciated. So we can go for the UEFA Champions League Liverpool ball. Okay. And again, like I said, you can just press 7 if you want to make that your favourite one. And that is pretty much it. So once we've got all that set up, we can then go to kickoff. Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have a row or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture. Well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will 
any second now. Oxley chamberlain plays it forward. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Good ball, it's... Hits one! It is! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. That's all from me, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.